Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I wanted to read a passage of scripture and uh, we're going to talk about why we should give thanks to God. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. You know, uh, when this is posted, it'll be uh, probably Thanksgiving week. And uh, I just wanted to say we have a lot of reasons to give thanks to God. One of them is that uh, he's God and we're not. <laughs> Another one is his great mercy that he has bestowed upon us. All of us are sinners and all of us deserve judgment. However, God, because he loves us and because he gave his son Jesus to die for us, made it possible that to every man, woman, boy and girl who receives Jesus as Savior, we are forgiven of our sin and he has extended mercy. That means he withholds judgment from us. And um, that gives us a great reason to give thanks to God because someday when we stand before him, we will not be held accountable for our sin. Instead, we will enter into the presence of God forgiven, able to stand before him, not that we deserve it, but because of what Jesus did for us. And it says, enter into his courts with praise, be thankful to him. You know, it would be really wrong for us to accept a precious gift like the life of Jesus Christ on our behalf and not to be thankful. When we come to the Thanksgiving season, in fact, every day we ought to be thankful. It's important for us to re remember that we have significant reason to be grateful to God. And that's because of his great gift of mercy, love, forgiveness, his grace that he's bestowed upon us. So when you sit around the tables and you're enjoying your turkey and cranberry sauce and uh, dumplings and stuffing and so forth, I want you to just take a moment, if you would, and go around your table and say, what are you thankful for? And what are you thankful for? And what are you thankful for? It would be wrong for us just to stuff our face and not stop for a moment and say thank you to God and let each other know why we're so grateful. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving celebration. If you're a Christian, you have significant reason to give thanks. If you're not a Christian, I encourage you to come and see. Come visit our church. Ask whatever questions you've got about God and about how to become a child of God. We'd be glad to help you and answer your questions. You will be found to be welcome here and accepted here, and we would love to see you. So we meet every Sunday. 10.40 a.m. Look forward to seeing you.